guys first of all sorry I'm always showing you this through the screen the screen doesn't stay up by itself yeah. but anyway it's not real bright out there for old Don in the Great Lake states today it's a little gloomy nobody in the last week or two have even brought their the fishing boats out to go fishing I haven't had nothing to look at out on the lake but that's not exactly what we're here for today what we're here for today is some new fuds that I have not tried yet which is in uh, they started out in oh lord where did they start out at Escanaba way up in the UP I think I got that right Escanaba and they have a place just a few miles from us now. It's called Up North. It's a pasties place. If you ever get to Michigan and then up north uh, in the UP, you have to try a pasty with gravy or without gravy. They prefer it without gravy up in the UP. Um, I love gravy. I like my gravy. So I always get the gravy with it. That's up to you, of course. <laughs> but, at the same place, they also sell their fudge. And my friend says it's better than Mackinac fudge. So I, I told him to pick me up some, since I'm stuck here at home right now. With the shoulder surgery. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. I'm sitting here doing hardly nothing. Um... But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little vlog and a little taste test on this fudge. And uh, then you can try it out if you're ever in the area here in Michigan or up north. And I uh, don't forget to get some pasties while you're there. Or pasties? Pasties. Pasties. I never say it right. I'm not a youper. I'm sorry. Here we go. Let's get started. Oh, I have to excuse my hair. It's probably a mess. I'm left-handed. <clears throat> and i uh, got to do everything right-handed. And I'm not going to tell you what the worst thing I have to do with my right hand that I ain't used to doing. You just kind of figure that out for yourself. <laughs> but anyway, we are here. And I'm not sure exactly how to say this. My buddy's not here. He's from Escanaba. I don't think I've ever been to Escanaba. But I'm going to now that I have a very good friend um, since we moved here on the lake. He's our neighbor. S-A-Y-K-L-L-Y-S Candies Creamy Butter Fudge Chocolate. And uh, registered trademark of KJR and JMR and company Escanaba, Michigan 49829 uh, I don't see an address, but you just, just, I'm sure they'll ship some to you, too, if you're not in the area. Now, what I suggest you do is, um, have some Mackinac fudge shipped to you, and then some of this shipped to you, and then you decide for yourself. Because Michigan is well, well known for its famous Mackinac fudge. This, this, I was told I better try it. It has no nuts in it. I'm not allergic to nuts, but you can get it with no nuts. You can get all kinds of flavors. I'm sure you get online, go to, go to their website, and, uh, probably order it no matter where you live in the United States or out of the United States. I'm sure you can still order it. It might cost more, you know, so shipping and stuff, but if you're ever in Michigan, just in that area, just go pick it up. <laughs> anyway, we're going to pick it up, or we're going to pick it up. We're going to take this cover off, which we did. We'll just throw that over there somewhere. I want something to drink, Daddy. You want something to drink? There's my little girl. So, there. It's down there now. <laughs> Good place for it. And as you can see, I've already cheated. I cut out a little spot. I didn't want you to have to wait too long for the video with this old left hand here. I'm going to just go ahead and scoop this out. I've never had it. I'm going on faith that my buddy told me that it is better than Mackinac fudge. 
Uh, it's been a while since I've had Mackinac Fudge, but I'm sure I will be able to tell. <laughs> Goddamn good. Here, cut yourself out a little short there. <laughs> I should have some fudge with fire. <laughs> Wish I had some uh, Mackinac fudge with me, that way I could compare a little better, but it's been quite a while since I had Mackinac fudge. I think that's the best taste test of it. No, I, I'm just going to say it's damn good. <laughs> I think the best taste test of the fudge, though, would be a baby. <clears throat> A baby? Sarah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's a child. She should know. Yeah. Sarah, come here. <laughs> Try a little piece of daddy's fudge. She said no. <laughs> oh, fine. Oh, my. That is good fudge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my buddy Dan was right. Yeah. That's, that's good. Good fudge. At least it's still in Michigan. It might be in the UP, but it's still in Michigan. So if it's got Mackinac fudge beet, which I think it might. Yeah, we we'll have to try a few other flavors, too, eventually. But uh, on a scale from 1 to 10... I'm going to give this a 13. <laughs> anyway, take my advice. If you want some good fudge, good, delicious, awesome fudge, get this stuff. This stuff. Can you see it? There it is. Oh, 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 oh it's over here. Ah, over here. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and like always, I'll see you next time. I hope. Hope you come back. If you don't, I'm going to miss you.